What's going on, boys? It's uh, Tuesday. I'm gonna show you guys how to check a bad alternator using a DMM. This is my baby. Uh, I've had this bad boy since I uh, went to UTI. It even says Universal Technical Institute on the top. It's the one they sell you at UTI because they want you to have one for electrical class. Anyways, um, quick video. Anyways, quick video on how to check this. Um, the battery was dead when the car came in, so I charged it real quick just to move the car in. But uh, essentially what you're gonna need is a DMM. You're gonna need to put this bad boy on voltage to check voltage and make sure that it's connected properly. Make sure the, the ends are good. We're gonna do, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna first um, check the battery, check voltage at the battery. Check voltage at the battery when the car is running. Right now it's at 11.8. And then what we're gonna do uh, if the if the alternator is charging, it should be charging at 14.2 at the battery. If it's not, then we pretty much know that the alternator is bad. But sometimes what ends up happening is that the fuse going to the alternator is blows out for whatever reason. So you have to check the alternator at the actual altern alternator itself. Luckily, this alternator is pretty easy to access. It's right on top. So the 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 uh, connector that goes to the battery is really easy to to, uh, to reach, so uh, it's, it's easy for me to uh, make a video about this. So, anyways, so we're gonna check it there and at the battery and see what the voltages are with the car running. Okie dokie. So, with the car on, we have 11.2 at the battery, and we have 11.5. 11.15 at the alternator. So the reason why you want to check it at the alternator is because sometimes that fuse blows out. And it sucks when you check it at the battery and you're like, oh yeah, the alternator is bad, 11.5, it's not charging. And then you end up finding out that the, the freaking fuse went out and you change the alternator for nothing. What ends up happening, the other bad thing about that is that sometimes the fuse, it's in like the freaking dash for whatever reason. Like sometimes the wiring, um, the way it's wired, it's like the fuse goes through the, uh, the battery light on the dash and then you replace the alternator and then you find out you have to replace, remove the dash to replace the fuse or whatever. Like Fords do that, like really weird, really weird wiring stuff. So just make sure, if, especially if it's easy to access like this one, you always want to make sure, all, Acura has always have bad alternators so pretty, I was pretty confident but you always just want to make sure. Anyways. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. We are going to be doing other videos. I just want to make this quick one because it was so easy to make. It's going to be like two minute video, but it'd be cool. Thanks for watching.